leaders for them to work, but the government has admitted that, you know, there is, there is lacking job creation, you know, ability because the environment and the economy just is not able to enable companies to create jobs. So the minister said that this is a self-care measure, which I found quite good because a lot of times that level of acceptance and creation is not there. It's been a while since um, I posted a posted something, but uh, yeah, some strange things. Oh, I must have had a little bit of bad karma and, um, on the seventh of Mar of seventh of February. My watch and cell phone was stolen out the locker at the gym, and um, yeah, it's amazing how. You lose your phone your whole world comes crashing down I suppose I can count myself lucky and blessed because uh, in the locker was my wallet and my car keys but these guys just took my smartwatch and um, my cell phone and uh, obviously it was extremely upsetting waste had to had to go and uh, put in an incident report at the gym our gym had a well-known gym in the uh, Benoni North Mead area a little bit uh, left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth there the whole experience because this happened between quarter to six and quarter past six in the morning and uh, when I finally got home um, I switched on I have a spare phone at home so I used that one for a while and that, that was also an issue because <laughs> anyway I'll get to that later. Anyway I phoned the gym at about 7 o'clock and uh, asked them if they had uh, video footage and all the rest of it and I was told that I, I needed to speak to the manager because the manager's got access to all the video footage um, and then I said I'd like to give I'd like to phone him please send me his please give me his uh, cell number and she said uh, the lady the lady who had answered the phone said no um, the manager of the gym that is open to the public provided you pay um, they're not allowed to divulge his cell number in this day and age the manager of a public gym where the members pay good money to make use of their great great venue does not allow his staff to divulge his cell number anyway there's nothing I could do uh, the guy only starts at nine on that particular day I don't know if he starts at nine every day but on that particular day he started at nine and at about ten past nine I phoned again and uh, he said that he was about to phone me or he had given me a call but my phone didn't ring um, and he said he was going to fill in the incident report. This was on a Monday, by the way. Incident report, and um, he would have a look at video footage, and he would get back to me. And uh, that was it. Uh, two weeks later, um, yeah, about two weeks later, I phoned the gym after going to the gym on a regular basis, but obviously he wasn't there because I normally go in the mornings. I eventually was so angry and so upset about the fact that there was there just wasn't customer service coming from this manager. Um, I eventually went in the following week, Thursday, having gone in on a regular basis. But on that Thursday, I just I lost it. And I, on my way out, I just said to the ladies at the counter that if by the following Monday which would have been two weeks from the from the date of the incident. I don't hear from the manager. I'm going to arrive at the gym at five to five, like I usually do, or maybe sometimes 10 to five, and I'm just gonna walk through. They only open the, the turnstiles at five, but I said, 
I'm going to make a little, a little protest, a small little protest against the bad service that I was getting. So that Monday came, and obviously I still hadn't heard from the, the manager. And I, I walked, I walked through at about five two, and they asked me, well, "Why are you going in?" I said, "No, because I'm not, I'm not being the obedient customer, because the least I expected from the management of the club was." a call to say that my incident report was ready because I needed it for my for my insurance claim um, and then the manager finally after having uh, a one day um, what's the word a one day protest of going in a little bit earlier than normal in front of everybody else that was standing by the gym waiting to go in at five o'clock the manager de decided to phone me at five to twelve starts at nine two weeks later i get a call from the manager saying that uh, he spoke to me he spoke to me sometime between the first the day of the incident and two weeks later and i don't remember the call at all um, i was expecting a call on a daily basis and i don't know if he he thought he had spoken to me but he never spoke to me and he said yes he, he even sent the email address he had even sent the, the incident report via email to me. And I said, well, when did you do that? He said, no, no, which was two days after the date of the incident. So I said, well, can you resend me the email, the, the, the incident report while I'm talking to you? And he, he duly did. But he must have had the wrong number because the email address, the email didn't come through. And then he, he admitted that the email address he had was not correct. So I don't know what happened on the 9th, two days after the incident. Why did he, why did he send an email? He would have obviously got a, got a, um, an error message like everybody does on, the, on, on Outlook. Why did he not phone me? So anyway, that was the Monday, two weeks later, he did phone me eventually. So. And he said he would have the incident report at the, at the reception the following day, which was the Tuesday. So I went to the gym on the Tuesday, which was two days ago. And yes, he did have the, the, the incident report. But what he had also done is he had instructed all the staff to keep the doors locked until five o'clock. Prior to that day, since the day the gym was opened back in June 2021, the doors would be open and you would be able to go in but not go through the turnstiles so they would you would walk in and they would take your, your temperature you would uh, do a little bit of a hand sanitizer and then wait until five o'clock when the turnstiles were clicked open and then you could swap your way through but on that day two weeks afterwards because he was obviously a little bit uh, a little bit uh, put off by the fact that i was i was complaining about the poor service he instructed the ladies not to open the the, guy, the doors into the reception area before five o'clock. So he made everybody, including myself, but it, well, I think it was aimed at me, wait outside. I mean, how childish. This is a manager of a gym. Clearly he hasn't been. He hasn't been for any customer service, customer interaction. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's an incredible. I can't believe the, the immaturity of, of the staff at this gym. And for me, it was, it, it's, it just, it stinks of the way it's, it, it, I, I'm generalizing, but it appears that people don't value their customers. I mean, in most businesses, apart from the, the equipment and the capital equipment and the premises if it's owned by the, the business one of your major assets in any organization is your customers and I, I, I'd like to think that the reason why it's like this is because you pay in advance with gym memberships so once you've got your money they don't give a hoot about you and they don't care if you're unhappy they don't I mean what mentality I bet you the service would be a hell of a lot better if you paid in arrears. If you used the service and thereafter 
you paid for the use for the previous month. But yes, it was a, it was a, it was a real eye opener the way I was treated. And I mean, I'm in sales, and um, I've always had the opinion that customers, the customer focus should be number one. Yes, sure, you need to stay, you need to stand your ground. You need to um, uh, let customers know that uh, there's a line in the sand of what their expectations should be. But I don't believe my expectation was unrealistic. My, my phone and watch were stolen out of their locker on a Monday. And I only got the incident report two weeks and one day later. I think that's disgusting and I don't believe expecting a, 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 an incident report one or two days after the incident is unrealistic so really not impressed with the gym in North Mead Square really not impressed with him or should I say not impressed with the management and the staff and then Here's the other story. When I loaded, when I used my, my, my spare phone, I incorrectly did something so that when I got my new phone, all my history on my WhatsApp, um, all my WhatsApp messaging history, gone. And I dare say I'm still going to work out the other things that I am now missing. So yeah, it was a it was a a real real pain in the backside losing a phone, which life is so dependent on these days. But I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, yeah, customer service. It uh, leaves a lot to be desired.